I believe that it's almost every reptile keeper's dream to be able to keep their animals in an outdoor naturalistic enclosure. There are many pros and a few cons, so today I'm going to be going over some of the pros and cons you can expect to find while keeping your reptiles outdoors. Pro number one is natural light and natural day-night cycle. Now natural light is what you would normally get, it's called a UVB bulb, here's a picture of a UVB. It's that coil bulb or that weird bulb you didn't really know why you needed to get it at first but then you had to do research on it. Anyways, uh, natural lighting is a huge plus to keeping your animals outdoors. It saves you money from having to buy heat and UVB bulbs and it's just a great way to get your animals to just flourish and thrive. Natural light also helps to brighten your animals colors and their patterns. Take for example the softshell turtle. I have three of them in this pond. When I put them out here they were all pretty drab. The male, you know, he has spots so he had some color then but just from being outside their colors just blossom. Let's not forget the health aspect of this. Natural sunlight obviously is going to be way more potent than just a heat and UVB bulb. Whether it's the most expensive repti sun bulb that you can get nothing will trump the sun now i did mention the day night cycle this is something that's kind of like it really helps if you have some animals that may be slightly nocturnal for example the chinese golden thread it's slightly nocturnal i don't see him a whole lot out during the day but during the night he's definitely out um you can have day night cycle indoors however it's not super consistent and it's not like a gradual fade into the nighttime. The temperature may cool down just a few degrees, but it really doesn't match being outdoors. Pro number two is the animal's natural behavior. I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but whenever I bring my animals outside from being inside during the winter, it's almost like a switch. They know they're outside and their instincts automatically kick in. While, while they're inside, they kind of adapt to the indoor life. You know, they adapt to seeing you as their food source. While if you set them up with a self-sustaining habitat, they really kind of turn into that wild animal. And you can actually see their natural behavior that you would normally see if they were in the wild, which could be looked at as a pro and a con. Personally, for me, I find it as a pro because I wanna keep my animals as natural as possible because that is the healthiest way, in my opinion, to keep reptiles, turtles, tortoises, really any reptile or amphibian. But one con that I've noticed is it takes a lot longer for an animal in the outdoor enclosure to kind of warm up to you and become friendly again. Let's take for example Hurricane my Mississippi map turtle. This turtle loved to just eat everything that a turtle normally would do in captivity inside. Whenever I'd walk in the room, it'd swim up to the glass, it was really social, it would never jump off the basking platform. Now that it's outdoors, it's kind of switched into that wild turtle. It's not being injured or attacked or stressed in any way. It's just got, has that own primitive feel to it and it's not seeing you as much. But you can definitely tame your turtle again outside. I have three red sliders, two painted turtles, a few soft shells, map, a diamondback terrapin in there and a few more. And the red eared sliders, the painted, two of the soft shells, the maps, and the diamondback have all kind of warmed up to me outdoors and they are just as active and friendly as they were indoors. But some of your more skittish turtles, like see the um, golden thread, for example, I never see her and she is always hiding unless it's nighttime because they're semi-nocturnal. Another huge pro, in my opinion, is you have the opportunity to build an absolutely stunning naturalistic outdoor enclosure whether it's a beautifully planted turtle pond or a garden for your tortoise I think it's a great way so you can sit back relax and enjoy not only your animal but also its environment there's tons of possibilities you can do with outdoor enclosures with native plants caves walls rocks things that you can just incorporate into your enclosure and most of the time you're gonna have a lot more space outdoors than just a tank or a tortoise table that you would normally have indoors. A tremendous pro of building outdoor enclosures is you can get almost anything you need for free. You can go out in the woods and look for sticks and logs. You can ask your neighbors if they have any big rocks or boulders that you could have. You can get gravel for free. Just go down to the creek, look for some driftwood, 
dig up some plants that you found in the woods. There's so many things that you can do. You can make a beautiful yard for free. Now there may be the initial uh, buildup of the enclosure cost. You may have to buy some wood or some fencing or maybe an electric fence if you kind of live in a really suburban area with a lot of raccoons. But there are a lot of times that you can just kind of make do with what you have. Say you have a screened in patio, you can kind of make a corner for your tortoise or have an old dog run like what we have here I made for my box turtles. You can get really creative with what you have. I kind of touched over this when I was by the pond, but when you do make an enclosure, you're obviously gonna wanna make some uh, adequate hiding spots. And because this is a new environment for them, whether they've been indoors their whole life or just are moving out seasonally, you won't see your animal as much as you would indoors. Now that's a huge con for some people, especially those who spend lots of money on a really expensive animal and they don't really get to see it a whole lot. But it's for the well-being of the animal and if it's thriving, I would prefer them to thrive and be extremely healthy than to be able to see them, you know, anytime I go outside. Now a huge con that I think deters 90% of the people who have reptiles you want to bring them outside is you are doing a little bit of a risk with your animal because there's always a chance a predator or a storm or just some kind of natural occurrence could end up killing your animal, it could escape. There are a lot of possibilities that could happen with it and it is a risk and normally with keeping animals you don't want to take risks but over the years if you do a lot of research if you contact a lot of people, you can really make a really good secure enclosure, but there's there's always going to be a risk when keeping your animals outdoors. Now just to generalize things up, I do highly recommend you keep your animals outside, but I'm gonna leave you with this tip. Make sure you are absolutely 100% positive with your enclosure. By that I mean, don't take chances with your enclosure. Don't see a small little you know, dip it in the ground where you think maybe my tortoise would dig out of that, maybe not. I guess I'll just kind of take the risk. Make sure that there is nothing on your mind when it comes to making the enclosure or when it's finished. Make sure that there is nothing that you can think of that would need improved critiquing or just finishing up. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you want to help support the channel, make sure to check the um, description down below, click the Amazon wish list, and maybe donate something or two um, from this wish list. And if you'd like to, send something to the P.O. Box and you can uh, see the unboxing video of that. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment if you haven't already. Join the family. And I'll see you next time. Whether it's a beautifully planted turtle pond or a stunning... Ah, oh, what the heck?